are you doing, buddy? Hi, what's going on? I think Brillo wants to go on a little adventure today. That's right, so guess what? We're gonna take Brillo out and we're gonna go on a little pet smart adventure, much like Salt did. What do you say? Let's go. Let's do it. Wait, it's an important I gotta call you right back. I'm taking the sloth for smart. Sorry. It's an armadillo. Oh, the armadillo. Sorry. We gotta get him a Halloween costume. That's what I'm saying. We're gonna go to PetSmart. We're gonna let him get a costume. We're gonna let him pick out some toys so he can be excited. Brillo, you're going on a little adventure and it's gonna be amazing. Uh, I think I'm gonna let Brillo drive. What do you think? He's good? Yeah, Driving? he's good. He's a good driver? Yeah, three months. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's good. good. All right, so let's go ahead and hit PetSmart. It's your, all your turn, buddy. We gotta get up to this light. You take a right and then make sure that you always look left first. You don't wanna ever get hit, right? So, okay, take a right and then we're gonna do the turnaround and then PetSmart's not too far off, right? All right, slow down, slow down, slow down, Brillo. Okay, good, yeah, never wanna stop too quick, all right, buddy? Brillo. That is so cool. I've never ever seen one. Isn't it wild? Wow. He's super friendly too. <laughs> He's super friendly. Awesome. Says hello. <laughs> Our <laughs> pleasure. Oh, are they diggers? Yeah. yeah they love to oh, dig. Yeah. Yep. All right, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. Much. Okay, Brillo, uh, what do you think? Do you want to try to pick out something? Maybe an outfit? What do you think? Outfit yeah. for him? Outfit, toys, toys snacks. Toys. Oh, snacks. Yeah. Snacks yeah. would be good too. Where do we go first? Which aisle? Uh, mm. Dog aisle. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's in a tent. He wants a tent. It's a it's a haunted house tent. Brillo, did you love that haunted house tent? Can you get him one? I I don't think that he needs one. Oh no? No. Well he, if he's ever camping out back. You're point. right, actually. What do you think, buddy? You like it? What do you like? Like a Kong maybe? Do you like a Kong? No? Oh, he seems to like it. I think he no? I don't know about this. I think he's just like sensory overload. He's just like, I just enjoy Look at, he's digging that. Oh, oh yeah. He loves it. We gotta get him this he for sure. This one. We gotta get him that one for sure. What about, yeah. what about a reusable diaper? <laughs> oh, no. no. Look at how he's playing. There oh we go. Gosh. Well, that's a hit. That's a hit for sure. So that's one thing we're gonna get him for sure. We like a stuffy? I think he likes that too. We think we should get, we could use this to train him. We could. Do you want to go look and see if there's anything like a little outfit for him? Yeah, it's Halloween time. Pennywise shirt? Pennywise? No. It's too big for him anyway. That's not. Ooh, that's probably the 13th though. That might fit. Jason. What about that one? Oh, that's <gasps> perfect. That's there we go. too small. Do you think it's too small? I think so it would stretch. So remember, hold on. I, I would like would to stretch. I, flashback to salt. Oh, no. <laughs> she don't like that at all. Watch out. She's fighting. All right. So uh, she, <laughs> she looks at, adorable. She loves Pink Floyd. Yeah. How about you guys don't pick out outfits anymore? Because this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Do you want to see so our this, armadillo? I've seen it. <laughs> you can pet it if you want. <laughs> Did you go put him in a scorpion? You know what would be cool? Oh, that actually that would be cool. One. That would be so funny with the tail. Oh my god, we could probably do it. I think we could do Let's that one. Let's try it. Yep, and then around there. Oh my <laughs> god. That is the best <laughs> costume ever. <laughs> we have oh to god. get what that. What happened to the armadillo? It's, it's a big so scorpion. Good. It's a big scorpion now. Oh my god. That's it. All right, we found it. That's it. That's the costume. We got some it. toys. We got costume. Or anything else? Treats? Treats. All right, let's find treats. Come on, Brillo. This is Brillo. He's an armadillo, six-banded armadillo. You want to pet him? No. That's what's up. That's awesome. Yeah. Visit us at the Reptarium. Thanks. Yeah, visit us at the Reptarium. Thanks, guys. What else at the Reptarium? Toothless. We're getting it. Okay. Oh, I think no, we need one more costume for something. Yeah, for who? I don't know. For something. Probably Diddy and Dixie. Yeah, they want to be pumpkins. Oh, that would be a good one for them. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, that's actually some... smart. I think that's good. Okay. Let's get it. Okay. All right, treats. Cool, huh? Yeah. His name is Brillo. 
He's not so scary. You're not so no, scary. No, he's not scary at all. He's super cool. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these dog treats. Look at all those. Those aren't dog treats. Those are armadillo treats. Yeah, you're right. What, what was I thinking? Where's the armadillo uh, section? Um, probably about right here. Ooh, training reward. We might be able to use this for some of the squeaky trains. We could. Bacon and cheese, quail and carrot. Ooh, that's probably good. Probably love that. Noah, what do you think? Oh, that's perfect recipe. All right, perfect. that's it. All right, are we uh, done with the Brillo to the PetSmart expose? Yeah. Oh, he loves it. Let's go ahead, uh, introduce him to the cashier, and we'll go ahead and check out and get back to the reptarium. I think this was a really good trip for Brillo. Do you think he enjoyed it? Oh, yeah, he loved it. He wants, these bites he wants so it bad. right now. <laughs> you guys can hold him if you want. You can hold him if you want. Oh my God, I'm holding an armadillo. <laughs> Oh, so cute! Wow! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> no problem. Our pleasure. Oh, yes. It's okay, Brillo. So what are you doing? <laughs> oh, he's trying to curl up. <laughs> <laughs> You cost, I don't know if it's Brillo or you that cost me all the money. Probably both of us collectively. Collectively, yes. God! Crazy, this right? This is cool! <laughs> all right, so how much did Brillo weigh before? Do you remember? I don't remember. Okay, so what do you think he weighs now? Six pounds. Six pounds? I'll say five pounds. Oh, 4.8 pounds! Brillo, you're getting so big, buddy! The crazy thing is, is he can max out at about 20 pounds, so he's gonna get a lot bigger. So, okay, Brillo, back to the reptarium. Armadillo, he has six bins. Lori's gonna be so excited about this. What do you say we show her the Halloween costume? She's gonna love Brillo. it. Brillo. Lori, look what we got by the ground. <laughs> you love it, right? Right? Fine. <laughs> it's not so cute to you? Is this so cute? Hell no. Look at this. He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Still with him, man. No. You're kidding. No! Mm. I don't oh. want him on my oh, lap! Oh my god. Don't his take his costume, costume back on. off. He likes yeah. it. I don't like it. Put his costume on, Mimi. Okay. You should have got him something stupid like, stop. I think it was a success, huh? It was. Do you think she liked it? I think she loved it. Okay, I think she loved it too. You did, right, Laurie? No, I did not like it. Okay, she did. She did. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> so guys, I think that was an absolute success. Berlillo did great. We got some cool stuff for him. Let me know in the comments if you want me to take other animals or us to take other animals to PetSmart, what animal it is. If you enjoyed this, uh, let me know down in the comments. As for now, Berlillo, you did great. I think he's ready for a nap. Guys, I'm excited to get this box right here. We are partnering up with Butcher Box right now, and they are sending us some cool stuff. The thing I love about this company is, you know, I mean, honestly, guys, I have a big issue with a lot of the commercial farming that goes on. These guys literally partner up with local farmers. It's 100% grass-fed and pasture-raged beef. I mean, that's huge, right? Then you have organic, non-caged chicken, which is huge, too, you know? They actually offer five box options. Four of them are curated box options, and one of them is the popular custom box here but let's go ahead and see what we got here we have some look at this grass-fed beef strip loin steak whoo i tell you what i love it you know i'm all about the environment and these guys actually ship in curbside recyclable boxes which is great and i'm all about humane animal treatment right and so this is absolutely incredible great company and i'm so excited to be partnered up with this guys and this is actually grass-fed beef fillet iron steak who doggy Lori's gonna love this and uh and then we've got let's see here we've got grass-fed beef sirloin tips that looks absolutely scrumptious. Now they actually send these guys frozen at the peak of their kind of freshness, so it's absolutely incredible for sure. This is grass-fed beef boneless chuck roast. Gosh, this is good. And guess what, guys? You can actually go to the link in my description and go ahead and subscribe to Butcher Box. Right now, if you order, it's ground beef for life. Meaning every box that you get for the lifetime of your membership, actually you get ground beef. That's right, they sent you ground beef and there is a ton of ground beef. Again, this is grass-fed ground beef, which just makes all the difference in flavor. Not to mention, again, it's humane animal treatment when you're talking about sustainability. Let's face it, the commercial farming is really a bummer. I am so excited to be partnering up with 
a company like ButcherBox. And listen, if you're concerned about pricing, to be honest with you, it's very fairly priced. And I love the fact that they're partnering with local farmers to actually provide the best quality meat without all of that extra junk that you get from the grocery store. Pork is humanely raised and fed with only vegetarian feed with the exception of milk proteins. Hey, if you're into seafood, there's wild cut salmon, cod, scallops, and haddock. Then there's butcher box bacon that's sourced from inherited bred pigs and is uncured, nitrate free, and sugar free. Box options and delivery frequencies fit your needs. Cancel anytime with no penalty. Guys, butcher box is great tasting, high quality meat that you can feel good about. And again, right now, with every shipment you get, you get ground beef for the lifetime of your membership. You can actually go to the link in my description and go ahead and subscribe to Butcher Box. Butcher Box sources from farmers and fishermen who meet the highest standard for quality. You choose your box and delivery frequency. You guys know that I'm an animal lover. I mean, that's what my life is all about. And I do struggle sometimes with eating meat. You know, I really do. But the fact is, is that Butcher Box makes me feel so much better about it. I love this company and I'm going to be using them a lot because again, it's all about the sustainability. It's all about the way people treat animals. So again, if that's kind of pulling on your heart a little bit of too about going to the grocery store knowing that commercial farming is so just terrible for animals this is a great option it's going to be an option i'm going to be using for a long time it's so amazing every time i get in the water with ivy it's just it's just bizarre right i have to do a bunch of cleaning because they're very dirty animals oftentimes and every time i'm in there you know i'm doing my maintenance and i turn around and ivy just comes right up she's just like investigating like hey dad what's going on i give her a couple pets she goes away for a minute comes back she wants a couple more pets and then she goes away and same thing with Ariana. As I'm going, Ariana's coming over to me like, what's going on? They're such curious animals. I just love anacondas to death. Remember we added the foggers to some of the enclosure. Check this enclosure out here. Boom. That's right, these are actually the mossy frogs in here. So not only is it fogged up, but you can see the mossy frogs are right up there in the corner. There's actually five of them in here. There's only two right there, so it's just cool. I just love the way that looks. I mean, it just looks so cool, especially this particular enclosure really fills up. But take a look at Carl too, the emerald tree boa. Oh my gosh, that just is such a cool experience. So uh, yeah, I love it. I'm loving these foggers. Again, we're running them at night mainly, but uh, also when we're open at the Reptarium, we run them just because it, it's a cool effect, right? Makes things look really cool. So uh, I just, I don't know. It's like a new toy. I'm excited about it. And again, if you have an animal that requires a lot of humidity, again, we have a misting system on here, but not always the misting system is a great option where in the sense that it's only on for two, three minutes, and then everything is kind of soaked and then it dries out over a while. Now, now that can be good for a lot of species. With chameleons, that's good a lot of times too. But at nighttime, typically you'll get a lot more dew in the wild, right? So this kind of acts as an opportunity where it's almost like a dripper in a way, right? So look at it's coming down this leaf and it's actually dripping down this leaf. That means the chameleon can actually drink all the time, right? So we'll run the foggers again when we're open as well as at night so that they have several hours where they can go and really hydrate because animals like chameleons and some other things like some frogs and stuff like that, humidity is so important to their health, right? So we want to give them different options of different types of humidity. We've got the sprayers, which are obviously you know, going to help out a lot, but also can get too wet sometimes. And then we have the fogger that's absolutely amazing. And we've only had these for several days now, and already we're seeing the animals just seem so much more vibrant, more kind of hydrated. So it not only looks amazing, but it's really working out. Back to some more baby colubrids, guys. The first clutch that we're going to show here are actually Mex Mex or San Luis Potosi king snakes. Really beautiful little Mexicana Mexicana, just a king snake from Mexico. Mexico. Unbelievable. Or in this egg box, there's actually a second clutch that was actually a scaleless corn snake clutch. Oh, I'm in trouble. Hang on a second here, guys. Hang on, hang on, hang on a second here. Let me get these guys back in here. Tell you what, snakes were everywhere. So we got a little scaleless corn snake in this too. Again, there was just two clutches in this box right here, but those St. Louis Potosis are awesome. Uh, I'm gonna set the camera down for one more second and put this guy back and then we'll move on to the next box. Okay, that went pretty good. These are actually really beautiful. These are actually coral snow corns, which are of course that high pink. And you can see already all of the pink that's coming through. Now when these hatch out, they're not nearly as pink, but these guys are unbelievable. But as they get a little bit of size to them, they get pink as could be. And again, this is another generation of polygenically bred for the highest pink possible. So these babies should be even better than the adults which were already smoking. And then the last clutch that hatched today were these beautiful apricot Pueblin milk snakes. This year we have produced some 
banger apricots. I mean, just look at how absolutely beautiful those things are. And they're feisty little monkeys too. You stay in there, little buddy. Again, if you braid apricot to apricot, you get all apricot pueblins. If you braid apricot to normal, you get about half apricots and half normal pueblins, which is cool. But wow, I tell you what, these are about as good as they get. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Do me a favor if you did. Here's a playlist. Could you watch one or two of those videos? It would help me out a lot. You know what else would help me out? You could subscribe to this vlog channel right over here. It means the world. We have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to somebody, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.